Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird. I'm starting this a little early because I don't want Daniel to see who we are right next to when we load the save, because it's a surprise. But uh, welcome back to Nino Cooney. I'm joined by Daniel once again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and this man is once again in town. Before we head out, let's talk to him. Oh, I say, it's the young fellow I met in Ding Dong Dell. And here you are again, old thing. What are the chances, eh? Jolly good to see you. It's good to see you too, sir. Are you writing about Alma Moon now? Indeed I am. The desert is barley sweat <laughs> sweltering. Look at this. Ew. My balls are sweating. But one can say one has been on a world tour without squeezing in a little volcano viewing, don't you know? Jeepers, you climbed old Smokey? Hardly. As my maiden aunt's always remarked, I'm not the most courageous of fellows, but I did poodle around the foot of the old place a little what? And jolly well worth it, it was too. It inspired me to write rather a marvelous little passage of my memoirs. Let me recite it to you. Oh, bother. Oh, dash and bother and confound it all. What's wrong? Well, I, I seem to have misplaced the old diary yet again. Dashed fool that I am. Jolly embarrassing, of course, given my solemn promise to you last time we met, I must seem rather a scatterbrained old lemon. I say, you couldn't come to the end of the party once more, could you, old stick? Old <laughs> hey. stick. Sure we can. Leave it to us, mister. Ah, the fire of youth brings a tear to one's jaded old eye. Never to mind the fancy talk, you. Where did you drop the flippin' thing this time? Oh, ah, yes, of course. I seem to remember composing a little something whilst leaning against a rather a fine old tree at the foot of the volcano there. Having been somewhat lost in the mist of creativity, of course, quite which tree escapes me. I could, I didn't venture too far up the slopes, you see. Find the tree and you'll find my diary. Sure as eggs is eggs. Thanks awfully, old boy. All right, so we got <laughs> we got to help this guy out. Before we get too into that, though, uh, I have forgotten that. We need to pay King Solomon a visit because he's got uh, some familiars for us. So we'll be back when we go talk to him. All right, guys, we're back in the Temple of Trials and we're going to talk to King Solomon about something. Ah, it's you missing me, were you? I bet you were. <laughs> what are you screwing your face up like that for? Have you got your hands on a familiar ticket or something? You can exchange them for super mega ultra rare familiars. <laughs> so we have two. We've got the Griffey ticket which was uh, originally only for people who pre-ordered on Amazon, and the Draggle ticket, which anyone can download off PSN. So let's start with the Griffey ticket, and we'll get two new familiars. So we have our new Griffey, this Griffles. awesome guy. There's Griffles, Griffraff, Griffric, <laughs> and Grifter. Griffles? I kind of like Griffles. Uh, we can't really rename them that I know of, so we gotta make sure we're sure. I had, when we played D&D, &D, I had a pet griffin named Bramble Pelt, and I really liked that name. But, I don't know, Griffles? Griffles just feels right to me. Let's do it. Griffles. Griffles! Griffles is now my familiar. Uh, he's supposed to be very strong, so we'll have to see if I want to even use him. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sure you and your new friend are going to get along famously. You don't mind being bitten, right? <laughs> so we got one more we're going to exchange, the Draggle Ticket. Let's do that. And get our draggle. Oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> it becomes more fearsome later on, but... So, Dragoon, Dragly, Dragonia, or Dragaloo. I don't like any of those. What are we going to name our draggle? Dragaloo? Um. And Dragaloo, Napoleon did surrender. <laughs> hmm. I can't remember the name of the new pet that was a red dragon. <laughs> It does look kind of like it could be a Neopet if the Neopet like fused with Link from Wind Waker and got those cat eyes. Kind of reminds me of Lemon Grab too. His eyes. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm not farting in the corner. <laughs> okay. I moved away out of courtesy. <laughs> Where are we gonna name this dragon? Focus. Okay, so we're gonna use Ashley's uh, suggestion from way back. Figgins, the strange dragon. We can't tell if it's a guy or a girl. All right, we got Figgins too. So I'm gonna test both of these on my team and just see how powerful they are because they might be too powerful to use. It might be like overpowered. So let's uh, 
Let's drop off some guys. Oh, they're in my party already. Okay. Whoa, did you hear that noise? Listen to it. <laughs> it's kind of cute now. Oh, there's Griffy. Okay, so I'm going to... I'll keep all of them, but I'll order them around. And we're going to go fight the, uh, the bounty before we head out. Let's test out on a mohawk here, and, or whatever this hawk thing is. Let's see if we can get one of these. Okay. Crowhawk. That's what they're called. I'm gonna test out my little griffles here. Whoa, he's huge. Look how big he is compared to the other stuff. Oh, he's not doing much. Oh, thanks to uh, the other one, though. It did a bunch of damage. Oh, the draggle's pretty big, too. Look at this. Pretty cool. Oh, she backed up a little. He, whatever the heck it is. Yeah, they barely do any damage, so. Gotta wait till they level a bit. Hoping to get a Crowhawk here, though. Let's see. Oh! Yes! I've had such good luck with this stuff. It's crazy. Come on, Crowhawk, jump on board! Oh, He's a little squeak! He's so happy! Alright. Daniel's laughing to herself. <laughs> Something's being drawn mischievous. Okay. Griffles! Figgins! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have two drawings this episode. Okay, Crony, Connie, Squawky, or Crowley. How about Sparkly, Twinkly, um, that axe head. How about Rooster? How about Plucky? That's from Tiny Toons, but... Also, yeah, also he could be Plucky, like he's like kind of feisty in battle or whatever. Okay, so we got Plucky. Plucky is now familiar. Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Puppy Talk. Daniel? <laughs> If you could be any type of puppy, what would you be? <laughs> oh, she's turned into a puppy, so she can't answer. 